When I was filming the footage from the last video in this one, I didn't know what story would want to be shared from it all. Now looking at it, I have my exploration of spring and the joy of a new season, a new year. That blossomed into this next episode, a story of a beautiful summer, where the unassuming hero is the mystical element of water. My personality and astrology deeply connect with water, the ocean and lakes. My moon in Pisces in the fourth house. Neptune, the king of the sea, is also the ruler of the astrological sign of Pisces and is the planet of illusion, where all is not what it seems. I was born in New Zealand, a little island hugged by two different oceans. So it's of little surprise that I'm now living on an island of lakes and ocean shores. What is surprising is that this nightlife loving queer has grown up to love forest bathing, the outdoors and mushroom hunting. New door. Nothing beats a nap on the dock. My love affair with lakes began this summer because the ocean here, unlike the southern hemisphere, is fucking gold. But better than a lake is a swimming hole with friends. I am so grateful we are allowed to travel and socialize a bit this summer before a more strict lockdown came into place. Somehow, and unsurprisingly, the magic of being underwater in such clear, gorgeous places stole my heart and continues to draw me back in. That's, I told you there's crayfish in here, put it back in the water! It's not, it's a crayfish I think. It's only got one claw. Water hides many things, strange fish, water creatures, silence to be alone with your thoughts, and the watery graves of histories of the land's past life. Speaking of the mysteries of the ocean, mystery is also in the name of my van. If you're new to watching these story times, mystery is my magical home on wheels that makes getting to some of the more remote places easier. And this summer, alongside a few adventures, she got a few upgrades inside.
this is beautiful park essentially now you can just walk to look at this beautiful view over at Pai Oh, there's another dunk 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 deer. Post hike. Time to put some toast on. Yeah. I think I need a nap. Look at your seal body. You just turned into half a fish boo. Pardon? That's a cool. Are you filming this entire thing? No. <laughs> I was like, oh, you also just enjoy it. Yeah. Boo, look, look at you. It has a really cool shape how it's made for the river and it's got a cloth. Yeah. Oh, good thing I have these little water stopping. Whoa, this boat is like so agile as far as like turning. The first time I got in a kayak, I'm sure this happens to everyone, you just spin in circles. <laughs> you know? Did that happen the first time? Well, the did? first time I was in a kayak, I was like 12, so I can't remember. You don't remember? No. I think I was like. Holy shit. <laughs> For now, my relationship to the ocean was a more complicated one. Watercraft, kayaks and a paddleboard were the start of a new relationship with the cold Northern Hemisphere Ocean. Very different to the slightly balmier waters in the north of New Zealand and in parts of Australia. I really started to miss ocean swimming, probably because of a bit of homesickness. But that's a story for the next video, all about winter.